Right, are we recording? Good. Then I want you to listen. I'm the Doctor. Fact. And I'm speaking to you from a kitchen in Sussex, broadcasting on your time-space visualiser. And if you've never heard of Sussex before, look it up. Okay, well, I expect that there are quite a few of you young Time Lords out there who don't know how to do what I'm about to do. So I thought I'd make a blog. And I bet you've been fed all the usual horror stories about how this process can be hideously painful and leave you blind for centuries if you get it wrong. Well, listen up. The good news is, not all rumours are true. Do not panic. This is not a striptease. I just want to loosen up a little bit because uh, you would not believe the number of suits I've busted in this process. In fact, probably the best way to do this is naked. Except one. The central heating's not on. Two is freezing. And if you are going to do it naked, you might want to be alone. Oh, I expect you're wondering about what led me to this moment. A slight disagreement with a vicious non-terrestrial insectoid. Yes, I got stung by a gravis that was burrowing in the back garden. Um, it was a bit upset because a long time ago I separated it from its own kind by stranding it on the planet Kolkakron. I'll look it up. Um, anyway, the sting isn't painful as such, but um, one of the interesting um, side effects... Mm, lovely. One of the interesting side effects... Side effect, side. Oh! <laughs> you were probably wondering about what led me to this... Hang on. Deja vu. Have I told you about the short-term memory loss side effect? Was I about to? Hang on. What am I doing here? Re regeneration? Of course. It says here, I got, I got stung by a disconsolate tractator. And I've got about 30 seconds to tell you that the best way to prepare for regeneration... Oh, you'll like this. Oh, you'll like this bit. The best way to prepare for regeneration is to... Uh... Eat a stack load of sugar. Oh. Oh, hello, camera thingy. Are you pointing at me? Oh. I'm on telly. Oh, you can't film me now. It's way too cold in here. And I have an itchy face. And I still have a beard. Excellent.